What is this place? It's like I entered into a hellish nightmare. And there's no going back now. Anton Ferro Istarsky. How is this possible? I remember this painting from the orphanage. My father, he used to tell me I'm nothing but a sin and called me God's degenerate. My brothers and sisters from the orphanage. Horrible souls deserve a horrible fate. My mother, the only person who stood up for me. I must be losing my mind. Mother, is that really you? Kelly Sue Drayton. Why am I seeing you? The painting from the orphanage. How did it end up in this place? Lies. In the real painting, I was standing by your side, and there were no other children. I was waiting for you. Demonic slave! Where is she? Where's my mother? That's a strange notion. For some reason, someone... It's a giant tree with dozens of... We left it on the table with... This bookshelf was full of books before. A giant bowl made out of... It has enough oil. Never mind. This woman eerily reminds me back when I could rely on her. St the blasphemous basin is destroyed. It's locked. It's not going to work.
Do you happen to have any spare matches? You are afraid of darkness. Look into the angel's vase. Take what you find. I will. Thank you, Madam Vera. Excuse me. I can see a matchbox, which I'm taking, and a strange crucifix that looks more like a weapon of sorts. I believe it could kill a beast. As long as I'm trapped in this valley, I might need it. And since Vera wrote I could take whatever I find in here, I'm taking that too. It's empty. The catechism... Oh my god, this is horrible. I've never seen so many. It's a dumping site. Two different kinds of footprints here. Fresh footprints. No way I can be sure one of them belongs to Victoria, but this proves Vera was right. She wasn't imagining the whispers from the woods. I wonder, how could my sister possibly know the warden? Where did they meet? He was looking for her last night before the incident, and then they talked afterwards here. Why? Something must have happened to her in the last few years. Both of our parents perished, and now our bloodline is cursed. It's not a fairy tale. It's our reality. I have to go to the lodge. Tell Nikolai I was right. He can do whatever he wants after that. I did my part. I'm leaving. No one can judge me or condemn me after... With a bit of God's help and quick feet, I may be able to get to the lodge, then straight to the station before the last train leaves. <sighs> My back. It hurts so bad. I haven't walked so quickly since I was a... King says you are here to see that friend of yours. I'm trying to find Nikolai, not a friend. I don't know the man's name, but since we don't get many visitors, that must be him. If you find him, tell him he owes me a pack of matches. I had to light a lot of candles because of him. Why? What happened? 
When he got in here, all the lights in the lodge went out. I've never felt a stronger, more bone-chilling draft in my life. Where did he go afterwards? Certainly not back through the lobby as the door was closed. He could only have gone in one direction. Into the tower. And from there, who knows? This building is full of secret passageways. What caused the draft? I don't know. Something from the tower, I suppose. The king does not want to tell me. He's playing awfully coy about this. Nikolai didn't cause the draft then? Yes. He did. This hallway leads to Mr. Golden's room, where your friend was headed. He caused the draft. Could you go upstairs and check for him? I can wait in the lobby. <laughs> no, I've never been in this part of the lodge before. Never in the tower. And never in the warden's room. No way. He's your friend. You should go. I already told you he's not my friend. Whatever. You have no choice. The king is telling me you have to go in there. On one condition, though. I won't see him anymore. So you have to pay for his debt. What would that be? I'll give you a clue. What do I need to repel darkness in the lodge? You need to stop believing in that king of yours. Turn to God instead. I need something that makes fire. That's all. Pay for the debt, and I'll let you go upstairs. Here, Nikolai's debt. You may go into the tower now. Where are you going? Now that I have this matchbox, I have work to do. Couldn't you at least wait here? Sorry, sir. I wasn't supposed to even see the hallway. I'm sure that god of yours will help you get out of there. Wait! I could have just left this town. Sometimes I don't understand myself. It looks shockingly similar to the cat in the lobby. It has a menacing stance, as if safeguarding its master. A man proudly seated in his king-sized chair, surrounded by cats. Could be someone important. A congress of felines. Some people worship them and think they are superior animals. This room appears empty, but the candles are still lit. Not sure why I would need one. The book's title is An Inhabitant of Sabor. I could be wrong. There seems to be something reflective at the end of the hole. I'd need something long enough to reach it. Using one of these might help me to reach the end of that hole. A couple of books regarding the human mind, and a quill that was used on a piece of paper to draw. Wooden twigs tied with tiny threads, or plant roots. Three triangles tied in the middle, with another twig. This is beyond my interest of knowing. It must be witchcraft, or something to worship the devil. Seven symbols, all very different from one another. The round one could be an iteration of the accursed evil eye. A dense fog rises above the lake, creeping inland.
The Warden's secret passage? It could be a trap, but I have no other choice. I have to descend. It was a harrowing walk. There was no light. Every step I made was a danger. The child at the end of the pier surely must have seen Nikolai and the Warden come out of here. I should ask. Hi, little one. Can I ask you some questions? I'm not little one. I'm Anton. Antun, have you seen anyone coming out of that tunnel? I saw you. That is good, but anyone before me? Two men. One had the eyes of a dead man. Eyes of a dead man? Was he dead? He was breathing. The warden dragged him. Where did they go? They drove away with the boat, disappeared into the fog. Do you come here often? Fishing, yes. So you know the warden? Of course. He is always good to me, always gives me food, says I have to gain weight. You think he took the other man to the asylum? No. He uses the boat only when meeting with the moon ghouls. They always go to the same place. It's on the other side of the lake. How do you know about that place? My mother Evelina told me all about it. Nothing else is in that direction. What did she say about the place? Kleck. That is the name. When night falls, witches gather on that hill. They sing and dance in front of three white fingers. Mother says they once belonged to an evil giant. Who belonged? The fingers or the witches? <laughs> fingers! Witches come to collect to call the demons from the mountain. They make and eat babies together. What kind of woman tells stories like this to a child? You saw the moon ghouls? More than once. And they did nothing to you? They could not. Dr. Hatur was taking them away with the boat. Are they man or beast? Both. Their whole body is yellow. They don't have faces. Their faces are shadows. Isn't it dangerous to be out at this hour of night? Day, night, it's all the same to me. The only thing that matters is to finally find my mother and father. Where are they? In the lake. Hiding from me. Who told you that? Evelina. And now you are here fishing for your parents? Yes, but they don't love my skin. Or maybe they can't smell it in the water of the lake. I don't know. I have to go now. What are you going to do? Who could help me get to Kleck? You need a boat. You can't walk there. It is too far away. And you can't swim. Hali is home to my mother and father. They would be angry if you did. So, where can I find a boat? On my way here, I always pass by the old man. He has a boat. Arsen is his name. Just walk into the woods left of the lodge. His house is on a small island. Take care, little one. <laughs> Take care, little priest. And if you see my mother and father, please tell them I'm waiting here.
which path should I take? Old boat. It's covered with a tarp. This drawing reminds me of an ichthys, a secret symbol of early Christians. I see pentagrams and the letters V. M, I, and K. These are witch marks. Carvings created to ward off evil spirits from the house. Arson? Who is it? It's Benedict, sir. Sorry to disturb you, but I've been told you could help me. Who told you that? A boy named Anton? What do you want? I need to get to the other side of the lake. It's important. You can walk or swim. How long would it take me to get to Kleck on foot? Kleck? Probably a day. The lake doesn't look inviting to dip in. And it's cold. Didn't you just say it's important? If it is, you can do it. Why would you want to visit that damned locality? A man I'm trying to find could be there. You strangers. Why even come to this town? It wasn't my choice. Either way, you are a captive now. We are all captives of this place. Imprisoned souls waiting for our savior. Sir, with all due respect, this town needs a legion of exorcists to be saved. It needs just one soul with pure faith. One man. One soul to free us all. Is that boat over there yours? What are you, Benedek? What do you mean? I don't know you. You don't live here. Who are you? I am Benedek Dohnani. I serve God. You are a priest. A monk from Budapest. Good. We shall continue this conversation then. About the boat. You can't have it. Oh, I didn't mean... I, I, I've never used one. I thought that maybe you could go with me. No! The boat is occupied and no one can use it. And even if it wasn't, I am too old and too weak to board it. Occupied by what? You have my permission to uncover the tarp. Why don't you just tell me? It's better if you see it with your own eyes. Do you know anyone else who could lend me a boat? No one goes to the lake. There are no other boats. That's a lie. What about the boat at the lodge? You don't want to find yourself on that one. It belongs to the asylum. I'm the only one with a boat. No other inhabitant has one. Why would they? There's nothing here, and it's dangerous. What places do you recommend I visit while in town? You don't get to explore this place. If it doesn't devour you first, then only by the grace of God did you escape its swallow. We are surrounded by Carcassa in every direction. The Udav Mountain above us, and the Henna River and Lake Holly lay dead below. No animals live in this valley, except for the damned crows. Nothing grows or breathes inside these waters. We see death everywhere. People still live here. It amazes me. This is a valley of righteous men and women. We may be scared with one foot in our graves, but we never lose faith and we never succumb to darkness. A day will come when the light will win. 
What did last night's effigy symbolize? You were there? Unfortunately. I never do. I don't like crowded places. But I could see the fire from here, and it was beautiful. We torch it every year on the day of our patron saint, Ivan Kotar. The giant symbolizes a member of the Saboran tribe. Yesterday was October 28th. What happened on that day? The day Ivan Kotar was murdered. Murdered? Yes, we celebrate. Nay, glorify the final moment of Kotar's long sacrifice for our ancestors, and thus, for us. Who murdered him? Decapitated by Vatican emissaries. For what reason? Accused of allying himself with the darkness from the mountain. It's... It was such a horrible, horrible decision. Poor man gave his life for this town and its inhabitants, only to end up locked in his room and ultimately slain like an animal. The more I hear about this town and its mysteries, I just can't believe it. What do you know about the moon ghouls? They are everywhere, in the water, in the town, and the forest. On the mountain, and in the Mala. Mala? What is that? It's what you strangers call fog. Hell, even some Katarians call it that because they don't know, or don't want to accept the truth. The moon ghouls are in the fog? Mala is not what it seems to be. It is not fog. You feel any humidity? Have you noticed the ground? It is completely dry because mala is not a mass of water particles what is mala then the remains of dead saborans or as many prefer to call them moon ghouls they think if they don't pronounce the tribe's true name that they will be safe which is nothing but a fallacy like i said and thought a hundred times before this place is doomed. We just need one man, a savior. Someone like our Ivan Kotar from the past. Have you seen a female stranger lately? No. No? Without even giving it a thought first? No one visits me except Ida, the souvenir shopkeeper. I am sure I saw no female strangers in years. What do you do here? Trying to stay alive for as long as possible. I mean, what do you do for a living? I sell fish. You fish in the lake? I never did. The waters are dead. Nothing grows or lives in them. Fish are sent to me every once in a while from other regions in Croatia. I have friends, mostly in Istria. That old camper across the bridge is yours? Yes. It was home to my parents before they settled in Sveti Kotar. They were... Wanderers? I wanted to save fools. I loved them. But for God's sake, why choose this town to start a family? We don't get to pick our parents. And yet whatever they do, we never stop loving them. Maybe it's not love. Maybe we are cursed the moment we are born. Did you know Yakov Prenger? He was a priest and a good friend of mine. I heard he disappeared. On a full moon night, like many others in the past. And that's it? No one knows what happened to him? I'm afraid all we can do is pray for his soul. Excuse me. Oh my god! I've never seen a wood so dark in color as this one. It's almost like coal. Two bodies. Two children. Long dead. Why the priest's robe and nun's habit? I don't want to look at those corpses anymore.
It's me again. You keep the corpses of two children in your boat? My father and mother were small people. Midget, says some would say. What are they doing in there? Laying peacefully in their temporary grave. A temporary grave? They were recently exhumed, and I had to take care of them. I don't understand. Who exhumed them? Henry, the priest of Sveti Kota. He banished me from the church, and so my parents had to move out from the town's graveyard. Soil outside the church walls is tainted. The boat was the safest place. They were clergy? No. I dress them as such to protect their bodies. The moon ghouls eat flesh, and they don't care if it's warm or cold. Why the massive cross on top? To protect them from the moon ghouls. Faith is the only thing that wards them off, but not for long. Was it torched? The wood is very dark. I made it from the trees that grow behind my house. I would never torch a cross. What sin have you committed to have been banished? Son, we are all original sinners, waiting for redemption. We are, but you did something to deserve it. God knows that is not the truth. Listen, talk to Henry, reason with him. He must unban me. Why would I do that? Because you need the boat. If Henry accepts, I could move my parents back into their grave and the boat would be free again. It's an opportunity to fulfill Father Imre's wish as well. Where can I find his church? The Church of Ivan Kotar. Go back through the square, find the police station, then follow the alley to your right. Just be sure not to stray into Kuga. Wicked, evil people wander the former school district. They have no soul and have lost all faith. I'll see what I can do. He's not an easy man to talk to, but maybe he'll be more reasonable with you, monk. You have no intention of telling me what you did? I don't know. One day, he just said we are not welcome anymore. You have to ask him. Excuse me. <laughs>